on that. This is actually a usable system. I could use this, but I'm afraid of the, the rush getting into this. While most college students are relaxing on Saturday and Sunday afternoons, two friends put in hard work because they are determined. They are working on a project which involves converting used cooking oil into biodiesel, which can be used to fuel cars instead of gasoline. Eric Lane is an aerospace and mechanical engineering senior at the University of Florida who says the hardest part is manpower. We have a lot of friends, a lot of people that come out here, um, and they just volunteer our time. We'll spend the weekends here, or just after school hours, uh, you know, night times, evenings, just working out here, uh, helping out. And I've been going to a lot of engineering organizations and other types of organizations on campus, and giving presentations and trying to get more people involved. Uh, they are still in the process of receiving grants from the university in order to fund their project. So for now, they are pretty much on their own in this venture that is trying to use solar and wind power to run the experiment. Yeah, yeah, the main byproduct from converting used cooking oil into biodiesel is glycerol, which, believe it or not, is the main ingredient in making soap. The other half of the partnership is Teleconcepcion, who is a graduate student in the entrepreneurship program at UF. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminology. Now he is in charge of contacting restaurants like Chili's and Friday's, along with other fast food places where they could collect oil from, and is introducing them to the idea of biodiesel. You, you don't really need a science background to help out. You know, you just have to have a passion. You know, you have to want to do it. And as long as you want to do something, you can learn. And I, I've learned so much more um, after I graduated just being out here and doing it, you know, doing real life stuff than I did, you know, before when I was in school. The workplace has a name, CBAC. CBAC has already been contacted by the organizers of Gator Growl about providing biodiesel for their equipment in this year's pep rally. Telly says it is important to keep everything in perspective. We're thinking big and we have to learn how to take things step by step. And like, we really want to help out. We really want this to be the wave of the future. But, you know, we're still doing research and we're still in the beginning stages. This is so where all the frying oil gets collected and we've just been basically cleaning it out. Seaback is trying to become a self-sufficient park using the sun to heat the oil while it converts it to biodiesel. It might seem far for Telly and Eric sometimes, but they are willing to put in the extra work. Okay, watch your feet. Watch your feet. Francis Viasio, WUFT News. Okay, tip it up.